Grade here with a Comet replay on Himmelsdorf. Today I am playing with one of my OTG clan mates, uh, Reason equals 36, he's in his T25 too. We decide to head up the hill, even though we're both in pretty zippy tanks, uh, mainly because we also have very good de gun depression. He has his uh, American TD, and I've got the Comet, which actually has a negative 12 degree gun depression. It is awesome. That allows us to play this ridge line here. However, on the south side, I actually like to cut across right here, out of sight from the uh, the enemy, and then get over to behind the church without being seen. Now here I'm going to check the zoom in and check just to see if uh, anyone else on that side has come across, which is silly. They would have been spotted, but I'm being cautious. And also normally up here I have to watch out for the field. That T-34 just popped up. Normally they like to take pot shops up here if they're actually paying attention, but it looks like today they're not. So I'm allowed to get uh, back shots on an IS pretty much unmolested, so yes please, I will take a few of those. I was actually going for a track shot there uh, to lock him in place for the Tiger. And that shot is when I first realized that Churchill gun carrier was over there. I'm glad he didn't shoot at me. So I put a pair of shots into him to back him down the, uh, the far way. Now, you notice, all, we have everyone on the hill. There are two enemy heavies that move down the 8-9 line. And also a uh, tank destroyer down there. Wow, I couldn't remember the name of it. So we take care of this IS. I know the gun carrier's there, so I cut around, put a quick shot into him, and now I realize all of these people are going to go down to the uh, the AB line. They're, they're going to keep pushing, not realizing that we've got these tanks behind us. So I actually turn around to to do something about it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. I see the T29 and the KV-1 facing off. I see the ARL down here. I thought maybe he's coming up this way, but he's actually not. He's on the far side. So I don't want to go down and tangle with the T29. There, I highlight the other uh, tank destroyer. I don't want to tangle with the T-29 by myself. Um, I just think that would be fool. But what I can do is pop over this rubble right here. And now this puts me right behind the ARL-44 and the SU-122-44. Put one into his turret. Second one into his turret. I'm hoping to hit his loader or uh, his ammo rack. One into his tail, and then one into his side. Now the Black Prince has turned around. And since the SU-122 is going to focus on him, I'm more than willing to put shots into his rear. Now the flag has been captured, uh, being captured for a little bit. Actually here I'm looking for a shot on that T-29, which I can't find. So I realize we've now got three enemies in the cap. I've got to get down there. Um, I'm actually in a good position because I'm going to come up behind them while Reason in his T25 is going for the arty and our Tiger P and Jackson are trading shots and keeping the cap uh, reset. I also figure our Stug and our Black Prince can take out that T29. Now Reason gets nailed by the GW Panther. And good job to this Jackson and Tiger P for resetting the cap as much as they have. I think they reset it twice so far. So I come around this side thinking all of their guns are going to be pointed that way. They're not going to expect me coming up from behind them. So there's the Jackson, dead. KV-1, dead. T-25, almost dead, but he doesn't move and he's dead. Now they don't have anyone in the cap. They're down to that SU-100 and the GW Panther. Put a shot into the SU-100 and narrowly avoid that uh, GW Panther. So there's my top gun. Now I push forward. I figure maybe, well, I haven't been hit once at all. I could uh, cut around and get him, even if he's pointing at me, and he's not. So he gives me a free kill. 
However, he lights me up, so I know the GW Panther is down on that far side. So I park behind this building in his shadow, and I count, uh, give it a six count. And I'm just waiting. Now I'm pretty sure his vision is cleared, so I can pop back out. Now he knows I'm in the cap circle, but he doesn't know where. And I'm taking a wide route. I'm actually not going to go charging forward to him. Instead, I'm going to go into the building here and hope that he thinks I'm going to come directly towards him and not turn around, and then I'll be able to take him out. So I cut around the corner. There he is, facing completely the wrong way. I miss because of the track, but secure the Radley Walters. Beautiful match in the comet. It's, it highlights exactly why I'm having fun with this tank. Uh, it's able to move around. It's got great gun depression, great damage output. It's, it's so very British. I love it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this replay, and have fun.